There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Stay pinned. 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 What's up, guys? I'm Alex. Welcome back to another episode of Norris Outdoors. So today I'm going to go some trout fishing. I'm here at a really special creek to me. Uh, this is actually where I kind of taught myself to fly fish. So um, this creek means a lot. I'll talk a little bit more about it, but it's about 8.30 in the morning. Um, it's going to be a hot day. Uh, clear blue skies. Not a single cloud. So that might be tough for some trout fishing, but stay tuned. Um, I'll talk more about the creek, but first we'll get you on the first fish. So I hope you enjoy it. Alrighty guys, so basically I pull up on my first favorite run and the water's a lot murkier than I'm used to. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just, you know, flip flopping a nymph through this run that I really like and uh, I'm not having a lot of success. So basically then I switch over to the next run and I'm still nymphing through it and um, it's just not working out for me. So I eventually end up switching. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one, guys. That's a nice one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice one, guys. Oh, he's trying to get me in the out of the mat there. Oh, nice one, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. That was epic. That was absolutely epic. Guys, this is a brown trout. Oh my gosh, guys. I'll give you a look at him. You guys, take a look at that brown trout. Oh my gosh, is he ever pretty. Holy cow. He got the panther martin right in the corner of his mouth. That is absolutely beautiful. Sorry guys, you fell over while I was releasing him. But what a fun fight. That guy came out from under the brush, absolutely destroyed the panther martin. What a rush. That was the brown trout, so... I told you I'd tell you a little bit about this creek. They stock a lot of rainbows in this creek, but um, the browns, those are native. They don't stock brown trout in this lake. So that was a nice, you know, stream raised brown trout. That was epic. Hopefully we get into some more of those. All right, let's see if there's a second one out of that same run. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. Another one out of the same run. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Out of nowhere, guys. Holy cow. Look at that. Look at that. Another fish out of that same run. This one's beautiful, guys. You guys, take a look at this rainbow trout. It's absolutely gorgeous. Good size, too. All right, it's ready to go back. Let's get it. Look at that. Look at that rainbow trout. Swim right back to where I came from. What another beautiful fish out of this same run. You guys have been seeing, I've been struggling all day long. And all of a sudden, come to this run, and it's happening now. Look at him. Look at him. I don't know if you guys can see him through the water there, but he's back under the same thing I caught him. That's amazing. All right, maybe there's a third one out of this run. All right, guys, I'm sure most of you probably know this, but I just wanted to show you what I caught those last two trout on. This is called a little panther martin. It's super neat. It's got um, a little tungsten weight and then a little spinny thing. It looks kind of weird out of the water, but in the water, it looks amazing, like a little fin or something. So it emulates a bait fish kind of running away. And with this kind of more stained water, normally this creek is absolutely crystal clear, and I can get them really good on the fly rod. But with this stained water, I've been... Finding that this has had more success, as you guys have been seeing, just because I think it gives a little bit more flash in the stained water. So um, that's what I've been using. Um, it's a number two Panther Martin. So let's get back in the, in the creek and see if we can get a third out of the same run. All right, guys, so I'm putting the GoPro on because I've just kept made three casts into this run. And you saw the last two fish, but the last one, I missed it right at the edge of this like little grass pad mat. And it was another good sized rainbow, so maybe you might be able to see it with the GoPro view. Let's see.
Look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? Did you see how awesome that was? Holy cow, guys. I don't know if you saw that or not, but he rushed out from under that mat and destroyed the Panther Martin. So you want to get your hands wet before handling these guys. And this guy is feisty. Wow. All right, guys, one last look at this little rainbow trout, and then we'll get him right back. Take a look at that. Look at him swim away. What a feisty guy. Holy cow. That was a lot of fun. Do you think we can go four for four? That'd be crazy. Absolutely crazy. Well, we're going to try. All right, guys, so I kind of want to break down some of the things that I think make this run pretty successful. So again, remember I said it's a bluebird, not a cloud in the sky day. We'll see this big mat that I've been talking about it provides a lot of shade. Now, these trout don't have eyelids, so their eyes are always open. And imagine if you're constantly looking at the sun, you want to find some shade. Another thing that I think is really nice is that log structure. It's kind of bending the flow. You can see how the run goes into the log and then kind of goes along the mat. And then finally, the last part that I really like is there's some shade up at the top of the run. So that shade spot is coming from a tree that's overhanging up ahead. Uh, but that's where I caught the first brown and then the two rainbows came from behind the mat. So again, reading your runs is super important in trout fishing. So I hope that helped a little bit. How are you? Pretty good, having a fun day so far. How about you guys? Just getting started or? Just getting here. Alrighty, good luck you guys. Yeah. So these guys seem really nice and I did end up talking to them, but basically they just start and they choose to go right in front of me on this run. And so typically I don't really like fishing right next to people, especially um, when they jump right in front of me. So I decided to take a walk and try some new water. Alright, third time the charms maybe? Okay, I'm on one. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. Oh my gosh, it's a brown guys. It's another brown. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, yes, let's go. Let's go. Look at that brown, guys. Oh my gosh, these stream rays browns are beautiful. All right, let's quick get them unpinned. Look at that brown trout. Holy cow, is he beautiful. All right, look at this brown trout, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's get a nice release on him. Oh my gosh, there he goes. Look at that, he's right here. Look at him. That's a feisty little brown. Absolutely beautiful guy. All right, guys, so this will probably be my last run of the day here. So let's see if there's anything else in store, but we've had a fun day so far, everyone. So maybe we can cap it off with one more. Yep. Oh, he came off. I'm not sure if you saw that or not, but first cast strike right away, which is promising for getting our last fish on our last run, I would hope. But he was definitely smaller than the ones we've been catching. Saw him on the surface for like a, a split second. Okay, now this is my last run. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on. Stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. Stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. Stay pinned, stay pinned. There we go, there we go. Here we go. Here's our last fish. If we can get it in, if we can get it in. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I don't see him. There he goes. Oh, he's barely hooked. Woo! Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, wow. Had a little bit of excitement there at the end. Holy cow. What a gorgeous last fish. He already popped out. 
Good work, buddy. Good work, buddy. He popped himself free. That's always the easiest. One last look at him. See? There he is. All right. Let's get a good release on him. Look, there he goes. Oh my gosh, what a fun fish to end on, guys. That was awesome. That was awesome. All right, I told you that was my last fish. I'm done. All right, guys, so I just got back into the truck. I'm a little sweaty. It's a very hot day today. Again, like I said, clear bluebird skies with sun beating down on me. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a little rundown of like what happened today, again, what I used, and um, what I what I enjoyed fishing today. So started off pretty down uh, in the section of creek that I always fish, and um, it was a little murkier than usual. Usually it's a very crystal clear creek, but uh, it was murkier, so I wasn't having as much success on the fly rod because I think they just weren't be able to see the uh, flies I was presented to them. So then I switched over to that little Panther Martin and started getting a couple. Um, finally at that run that I, that you saw, I got that three in a row and those are the first three fish that you saw on the, on the video today. And so I just kind of stuck with it. And then basically what happened was I was going down the sec section of creek that I always fish and then some guys basically jumped right in front of me and I was at the middle of the run and they like went right into the front of the run. And they were nice people and they chatted and they said hi. Um, kind of weird um, you saw when I bumped up on a guy who was already at a run I like completely uh, ditched him and put some distance in between us to give him some space but actually this was a um, hidden surprise for me because I wanted to put some space in between um, them and myself so I walked and walked and walked up to this section of creek that I had never been before and that was kind of that second flurry of action uh, in those four or five runs that were back to back to back um, and I caught another stream raised brown trout there. So that was an absolute blast. And then again, kind of what this creek is and how it lays out is the rainbows are stocked, but the brown trout are stream raised. So those two brown trout that I caught today, those are the first brown trout that I ever caught in this creek. Uh, so that was an absolute gem. I caught a brook trout out of this before, and that's also um, native stream raised. They don't stock those either here. Um, so a couple stocked bows, a couple beautiful stream raised browns. Uh, but again, if you enjoyed this sort of content, let me know about it. Comment down below. Uh, give Norse Outdoors a subscription. And uh, let us know what you want to see next. We'll catch you out on the water.